All right, guys, 22nd March, and we are at 42.3 Bitcoin with an Ethereum of 3,000, man. Broke the 3,000, looking good. Uh, today, I want to go over some uh, GPU trends and prices to see which way these prices are heading on GPUs from NVIDIA to AMD. And like I said in my other videos, I am seeing the market not completely crash, but the prices are coming down. And with that, the other uh, key ingredient is that the uh, GPUs are available in stock. That is a major uh, barometer of what's going on that the prices will keep coming down because you can actually get the cards now, albeit not at MSRP quite just yet, but getting there and not at the super scalper prices we've seen on Amazon and uh, StockX and eBay. Oh, dear God, eBay. Yeah. Uh, so let's go look. I would do eBay trend analysis on pricing, but you can't really trust eBay because even though something sells, it may not have sold. It may have been bid on at a high price, but what happens on eBay more often than not is nefarious activities in that a buyer will put a super high bid in and they have just made their account that day. And, uh, it just doesn't make sense that eBay allows that. And the person is either just being spiteful so the guy can't sell the GPU. And the guy should know better the seller not to sell it to that guy because the account is barely 12 hours old, no uh, feedback information, nothing. And he just put the super high bid in. So the uh, seller just goes, crap, I just got boned out of a nice weak auction. I got to relist it. And because uh, you're not going to ship it to this guy, he's not going to pay for it because it's probably a scam. You know, he's going to say he never got it or you actually sent him a clay brick in the mail. And you just can't trust some of these bastards on eBay, the buyers, man. You got to be careful. So what I use the stock X now is they have a nice little trend. And uh, you can actually see what has been selling, what the ask price is on a GPU and the last sold price, stuff like that. You can get in a good idea, warm fuzzy, of what's going on. All right, let's go check it out. All right, so I go to StockX and there's an NVIDIA section. You go through here. Uh, again, I'm just giving you the tools and I'll show you what I do. I'm not gonna do this every day, but I think this is good for people to know. And I'm sure a lot of OGs out there know how to do this. They have their sites. They know how to look for pricing and trending. But I didn't know this until I started to poke around. And uh, this is what I found. NVIDIA has a little uh, page here on StockX for all the NVIDIA ones and AMD does too as well. So let's just do a 6600 XT. That's what I know. Uh, let's go down. And if you've been watching cards, you can pretty much eyeball what the lowest ask prices are and see if that actually is uh, trending down per your experience. So let's look at this 6600 XT. That's an AMD Gigabyte popular card, popular brand. Uh, what we got? We have the last sale. Holy crap. Last sale was at 400 bucks. Sell this item for 400 bucks. View ask, view bids, view sales. <clears throat> so what I do, I'm going to go through all these. Let's see. View ask. So there's all the ask prices. All right. View the bids. All right. We got 400s. Wow. Someone bid 100 bucks. Two four hundreds, okay. I wonder if the guy actually sold. Let's see the sales. All right, what are we talking here? Twenty second March. So on March sixteenth, uh, wow, 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 a week ago, right? Uh, someone sold it for four hundred bucks. So what you can get, what you can do, man, if you don't really need the car, you're not really, you know, if you want to hold down our price, go to StockX, put in your bid, and maybe maybe you'll get hit. Look at that, four hundred bucks. Um, you know, I'm amazed no one else has been putting in prices on this thing to get that I might try one but let's go down anyway what I want to show you is this this is gold <clears throat> this is the price history and then you get the 12 month history as well right here <clears throat> and you see uh, the volatility the range stuff like that and what I go by you just eyeball the thing man you don't have to spend all day looking at this crap but you can see the thing is at 400 and it sold on March 19th I wonder why that is 17th so there we go, and it was at 560. So look at that. This thing is just March 11th, 
So in the past, what, 10 days, it has dropped from 560 down to 400. And again, you just can go put your bid in. That's the beauty of StockX. Yeah, eBay, not so much, man. I don't know. I'm kind of done with eBay. But uh, there you go. That's one thing you can do with any card you care about. So let's go look at NVIDIA. Oh, let's see. I don't know. 3060 Ti. Let's check out the old Gigabyte here. People bust on Gigabyte. The things work, man. They make mega hash. They run. They might have been running for a while. I have no issues with them. I don't know. They work. They work. People just like to bitch and moan uh, just for the sake of bitching and moaning. But anyway, we got a last sale price of six forty four. That is a 3060 Ti. Not too shabby. Let's look at what people are asking to sell it at. They want six fifty. Oh, what else? Let's do bids. People are bid, bid low. People are bidding lower. Look at this, guys. They are bidding lower. They know there is blood in the streets, and they know that guys have these cards, these resellers on StockX. Again, I never resold a uh, GPU on StockX. I sold one on eBay. I didn't want a 3080. No, uh, shoot, sorry. 6070. I forget what it was. AMD. And I just, just want to get rid of it. It was brand new. It was never open. Sold it on eBay. I think I lost money because eBay, again, charges 14%. Oh, my God. I saw the bill. I went, what the hell am I selling on eBay for? Lesson learned. But anyway, you got these guys on StockX. They hoarded or they not hoarded. They uh, copped a lot of these GPUs at MSRP or lower using their retail bots. And now they can't sell them because they, uh, they're bricking them. Brick meaning they can't, they're not going to make any money on them, even with their credit card points they made buying these things. Again, I speak from experience. I've done this. But not on StockX. Uh, they, yeah, I just know where they're at. They're feeling a squeeze here. They got to start dumping these GPUs because prices are coming down and stuff is in stock. So look at this. Last sold price was 644, uh, March 21st. So this card is kind of selling 600. All right, that is so. I mean, it went up a little bit in one of the sales. So, but roughly 600, 600, 644 again gives you a warm fuzzy of which way the market is heading. Nice even slope downwards. I mean, I wish we were all on the same page. And I would tell everyone who wants a GPU right now or minor, hold the line. Just hold out. Hold out until April. Hold out to middle of April. I think that I just think prices are going to keep coming down. And you're going to see uh, a lot of nice opportunities to get some cards if you want to build up your rigs. I don't know if you want to right now because what's going to happen after Ethereum, uh, Ether, I can't even say it, Ethereum goes to proof of stake. And uh, what coin is going to pick up the slack? I don't know. Nobody knows. And if they do, I don't believe them. Anyway, let's go back one here, guys. Let's go. Let's discover together. Oh, my God. Let's look at a 3080 Ti. Where are you? 3080 for the win. Again, people bust on the 3080 Ti. And again, I, I think a lot of us are justified in being really disappointed with NVIDIA for uh, willfully, knowingly, and putting in the low hash rate limiter on these GPUs just to penalize miners. But again, I'm getting, looking right now, I have six of these, <laughs> I'm an idiot. I got six of these 3080 Ti, LHR, heavy LHR cards, baby. And uh, they are right now getting 87 to 90 mega hash mining Ethereum, ranging from 269 to 300 watts. Uh, let's see. Yeah, three, that's what I'm looking at on that range of six, uh, six of those cards. But I'm getting, yeah, my mega hash over that is uh, right here. Let me show you. Proof is in the pudding, right? I can talk all day. You don't. Here we go. This rig, 528. These are six 3080 Ti is running. Reported hash rate, and that's the one you go by. The reported hash rate, right? And uh, so 528 on six 3080 Ti's. Not too shabby. All right. And let me go back. I lost my spot. Oh my God, 3080 Ti, I should have this bookmark. Oh, who cares? Let's just go to 30, here we go. EVGA RTX 30S for the win. Um, I'm looking, 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 I'm looking, looking. 3060, I'll probably go back to that one. I don't know, this 3050 crap, total junk, four miners. 30 for the win. All right, let's do Gigabyte. I have one of these. I can already tell you it's low. The price has really dropped from when I bought them. Holy crap. All right, let's see. Wait, 1,400 uh, bids. <laughs> 1,200. Now you're getting close to MSRP. I mean, you get down. Look at this. I love it. Someone put 15. Come on, man. You're putting a squeeze on these sellers. I love it. 
do sales. Again, it's all karma. Man. It's not karma. It's ebb and flow, right? Up and down, cyclical. And uh, the resellers had their heyday, and now it's going to be time for the buyers. I mean, just guys, hold the line. Don't buy right now. Or put in low bids. Force, these, force the hands on some of these resellers to unload the stock that's sitting in their living room, taking up space while their wife is yelling on them to get those boxes out. I've been there. Trust me. When are you going to get rid of these boxes? Ah, you know? So here we have some bids, 1400 1230 $1,375, all this stuff. And uh, that gives you an idea what people are putting out there. Are they selling? Oh, yeah. Let's look. I just had it. Yeah, people are selling at 1400 Someone sold at 19 at 1200 Just put out your bid. What do you want to pay for? Blow ball them, man. You never know. You don't really need the car. Just low ball them at whatever, whatever you're willing to spend. All right, here we go. Let's get on to this. Look at that. Trending down, baby. 3080Ti is trending down. I'm holding out. I'm hoping next month, if I get any money back from taxes, I doubt, because the government loves to take every penny they can from you. Uh, but if I get a couple bucks back, maybe I'll buy. I don't know. Maybe I'll buy another card. Who knows? I'm just. I just don't want to grow the farm too much and be stuck holding all these cards, unable to mine anything once Ethereum goes to POS. I don't know yet. Maybe flux. Maybe something else. Who knows? Uh, let's see. I'm just curious. Once. Hold on a sec. One six six zero. Oh. 1660 Ti. Uh, we got prices all over the plus spot here. Oh my God, Nvidia MSI. Let's do Zotac. That's a popular 1660. Oh, let's see, 440. Uh, let's see, view bid. See what are people bidding? 300. <laughs> and sales, 440. Oh, not been a while since somebody sold one of these cards. That's interesting. Am I reading that right? All sales. Boy, it's been a couple months since someone sold a 1662. Well, I'm going to go. I mean, you can go in here and lowball this. Put a bid in there for, um, geez, 250 I don't know. My God. Look at that. Oh, wow, look at this. Lowest asked. Here's a 1650 You can see the ask prices. All right. I'm going to try. Oh, I'm just curious, guys. Hang in there. Super. Blammo. What do we got? 1660 Super NVIDIA. Let's do EVGA. I know any I know this one. Oh, last sale was 310. Buy for 380. View the bids. Oh man, this is awesome, guys. Let's see what they sold at through. Oh my, this is looking really interesting. It'd be interesting to go in and see if you could get, look at this, Mark, recent days, 2021, past couple days, 393.10. That is incredible. I, oh, my God, 310 for a 1660 Super? Interesting. It'd be interesting to go in there and try this. Put a bid in. Look at these bids. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Put a bid in there for um, 250, man. If you could score a card at that, that's not bad. Again, doesn't hurt to try, right? Set up your account, put a bid in, and go from there. So let's look at the trending on this guy. Look at, oh my God, look at this. This is all based on the sales. Again, here was the heyday for the resellers. Look at that. 700, 687 bucks on a card they probably got for 300 bucks uh, using the retail bot. And now they're going for 350. Fantastic. So use StockX. I mean, it is what it is. I don't know what the shipping and all that crap is. I've actually never purchased uh, from StockX, make sure the thing is new, uh, make sure it's authentic, and check the return policy just in case uh, something happens. And check up here this code here. You can always check this code, cut and paste it. Go to Amazon and compare pricing. And I bet you the pricing on this on Amazon is going to be high fours, 500 bucks, 600. You never know. Uh, something worth try. I know if you're looking for a card, check out StockX. Stuff is in stock, and the prices are going down. And if you can wait, I'd wait. Wait, I wait at least a couple more weeks. We may see these puppies down at two hundred bucks because again, it's all economics, supply, demand, and these folks are getting this stuff. These on StockX, especially resellers, they're getting them through their bots, and they're getting a bunch of them because they're all in stock now. So they're probably hitting on a lot of them, maybe like a five to ten or fifteen of these cards, and they're getting them shipped to their house from UPS, and they're stacking up in their living room. They got to move them, and they're going to be willing to drop these prices. And they might use StockX over eBay because I think StockX takes a little bit less 
in fees. Uh, I don't know. I can't remember. But uh, there you go, guys. Go forth through great things. Let me know if this has helped you or what you guys are using to buy GPUs or what you find is the best indicator of pricing. Uh, pretty cool stuff. Oh, I had it. All right. I'm back. I, <laughs> I didn't have my little green guy. I, I'm so sorry. I like my little green uh, equalizer. It helps me realize that I'm actually talking and uh, just instead of talking to space. All right. So there you go. Uh, go for it. Check this out. Let me know what you what you score on if you get any GPUs from StockX or what sites you are finding you like. Newegg seems to be okay. Amazon, not so much. The pricing don't, doesn't really seem to be that great yet on Amazon because I think the third-party guys are holding out for as much as they can get. I think they know that their number's up. I think they know the prices are coming down, and they're going to be stuck holding the bag with all these GPUs they have sitting in their, in their uh, warehouses or their living rooms, and they need to start moving them. Uh, middlemen do not buy GPUs really that often if at all and if they do the resellers hardly ever get paid because it's just such a mom and pa operation one guy i don't know man uh consoles on the other hand are a different story ps5s xbox you can sell those things anytime uh, but gpus these guys are going to have to start moving them the squeeze is on it's almost like a stock stock x uh, it's almost like a short squeeze they got to dump these puppies or they're going to make no money they're probably thinking i need to break even at least and get rid of these cards uh, so hold out, low bid them, and uh, maybe you'll score on some nice cards and grow your farm. And it might give you a nice ROI if you can get a, a car like a 1660 Super. Jesus, for 300 bucks, Not bad. All right. Let me know what you think. I'm out. Take care. I'll talk to you later. Blambo. Oh, hit that thumbs up, man. If you like this stuff, I'm just giving information out there. Give the, give the, just hit that like. And uh, that helps everybody. Uh, Otherwise, I don't get anything out of this. I'm just kind of chronologuing my journey through the crypto world. YouTube doesn't pay me. If anything, the bastards of YouTube put ads on these videos, and they're making money off me without me getting anything. And if I did get monetized, I'd probably make a penny because uh, they don't pay much at all. It's, it's, it's kind of a racket, but um, it is what it is. All right. I do it for fun. I'm out. Take care. Bye.